Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel guys, it's Rad and uh, in this video we're going to check into your weekly reading July 18th up until July 24th, uh, 2022nd and uh, if uh, any of you guys is interested in uh, having a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website uh, which you pretty much going to find in the description down below. So with that said, let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we got. So the first card for you, Sagittarius, uh, that pretty much stands as the Ace of uh, as the Ace of Cups, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Emperor, followed by the third card, which stands as uh, the Magician, and the final card of your spread pretty much is the Nine of Wands. So these are the four cards of uh for your week it kind of warms my heart uh looking at this reading here sagittarius uh because you may not know me guys but i do have a lot of planets in sagittarius i do have uh, my moon is in there for one and uh this week july 18th to 24th things are about to get easier and i mean a lot easier uh, at many fronts really but uh, particularly into the front which we are struggling the most right now and while the ace of cups you can find a lot of readers being interpreted as you know pure love that's true but it doesn't constrain only for the intimate love right the the ace of cups it's the love for life itself or in other words the happenings of the week, the endeavors, the enterprises, the situations, all of it is going to be, when, when you summarize it, it's going to be something we're going to freaking love it. And uh, the Ace of Cups, it is when, uh, well, I don't know how exactly to explain it. So I'm going to say it by the strophe it goes. Uh, the empty the, the the spot in your heart once emptied is going to be refilled back again and nothing is gonna look the same seen through the overflowing joy of of that fulfillment or or of that feel so what happens here is that the environment is going to align in such a way that wherever we do this is how i'm explaining it to myself wherever we do lost hope of uh, things are about to start manifesting. Things are about to start coming up together. So should we lost hope that we're ever going to feel love again? Or should we lost hope that we are ever going to be in a good job? Or should we lost hope that we are ever going to speak with that person again? Well, that hope is going to be tangibly returned. What I mean under tangibly is that there is going to be a real progress into that direction. And that progress is going to start happening with a severe ease. Which it is where we do have a underlining issue here by the emperor sitting there uh, of, uh, <clears throat> of the second position. And having the emperor there, it kind of speaks that we can make it a problem. Okay, uh, what I mean is that the emperor sitting there is that we may take it more serious than it needs to be. We can take it to the, uh, or rather like transform the whole week and the whole situation as a very, um, the word is not aggressive, stressful experience if we try to control everything. Uh, what I mean is that if we transform it into an experience that needs to go by the book. So the expression I like to use here is that lose the news um, and just go along with, uh, with the flow because whatever the flow has to offer to you Sagittarius or to offer to us, uh, it will be um, the, 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 the flow is going to offer a circumstances that we will be able to manage with extreme subtlety, precision, and, uh, and ease. And that is granted by the magician sitting into the third position over there into the spread. So the magician pretty much says that throughout the week, due to the circumstances which are manifesting into the area of our life, we lost every hope that things are going to get better. 
uh, will allow us, those circumstances will allow us to build up none other day than a personal sovereignty. In other words, things are going to, we, we will have the ability to shape the things the way we want to shape them. But again, that needs to happen in a very um, a playful and carefree fashion rather than into a dogmatic and, 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 and uh, Stygian fashion. <clears throat> Another thing about the magician being there is that uh, throughout the week we will be able to get our points across. So whatever we try to muffle or keep within ourselves as a saying or with, with the fear that we are going to be misunderstood, mocked on uh, or straight away ignored, that's not going to be the case. So we are definitely going to express ourselves verbally and uh, also by the magician sitting there it speaks that um, whatever actions we do we are gonna um, exert no doubt into those actions whatsoever so when we approach someone that someone will have no doubt that our approach it is because we want it and it, it is something meaningful for us rather than that we are doing it for the shades and giggles so, uh, the magician has some advices, especially when it comes to personal interactions, uh, whether for a friendship, a business partnership, or intimate relationships. And uh, that for you, Sagittarius, is that you should not settle for nothing less but a people that accepts you for who you are. Should they want to change you in any way? then these people are not for you. Should they have any complaints about you, then they are not for you. Should they want you to work harder to be more fitable for them, they are not for you. I'm not, not, not saying that they have to love you for who you are, they have to accept you for who you are. To give you an example with myself, okay, because like I said, I am a, a Sagittarius, you guys know that I like playing video games and if a friend of mine or a, a person i'm dating with you know or a, a business partner have a problem with that and is bringing it every time wanting me to stop playing video games or abate playing video games so they can work better with me whether on the intimate front or not then that person is not for me and i should kind of like pretty much stop at the very least give them less value to my life than the value I'm giving them. That, that is because the magician, it, it's good enough the way he is and the magician is praised in love for what he is. The magician doesn't need to change. The magician changes and shapes the world around them, which is exactly what takes place into your week by the end, having the uh, nine of wands uh, there at the very last position. Now that card has a two manifestation. The, uh, the grand scheme of the manifestation is that uh, due to the lightheartedness, the spontaneous approach and the new circumstances, uh, you Sagittarius will be able to shape your life in a way that is going to be more accustomed to your benefit. In other words, your experience you build up and you have accumulated throughout the years uh, is going to really kick in. And so similar situations that otherwise would have caused you great amounts of distress and discomfort are no longer going to be a thorn in your, in your heel anymore. <clears throat> And you will have your life, the very least, for the near future in a way more easier pace than it was up, uh, up until this point. And the other more specific uh, manifestation of this card, Sagittarius, is that if you are a lonely wolf, you don't have to be anymore. Because with the Nine of Wands, if you observe the card here, we do have the bridging between the sun and the moon. And that is where you connect with someone. Having the Magician there into the third position and the Ace of Cups it me uh, into the first position oh well, that means that this connection is going to be because of what you are and because the other side loves what you are so with that said sagittarius this was your weekly title reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and uh we're going to see each other next time hopefully until then bye